because this is what you think about when watching Batman, Bugs Bunny. Remember that time Bugs was eating people and Batman solved the case when he found traces of beta carotene in the bite wounds? Frank Miller was a dark motherfucker. Batman Mask of the Red October. Why would they put a fucking walkway at the top of a garage like that? And even with the uprights around it, that still needs to be covered. How many drunk people doing the walk of shame back to their car have fallen to their deaths? Go ahead. Take a good look. And by take a good look, I mean Batman, who always seems to find the criminals who use the skylight room to discuss their illegal I'm not sure why anyone in Gotham chooses to be a gangster to make money, considering you could make a very healthy and honest living repairing windows. Get out! I know this is an exhausting topic, but they know who the f Batman is and what he's capable of. Why would anyone, when given an alternate option, send guys one at a time to fight him? Chucky saw. Batman! How'd you get here? Come on, man, that's clearly not f***ing Batman. I want you, Chucky boy. Where the hell is Batman? All he had to do was run from the casino penthouse across the walkway to the parking garage. Glad you're done with your epic dump, Batman. The situation badly needs you. Also, it seems like a sin that this exact same stunt looked more realistic in Furious 7. Oh, by the way, I've pressed your tights and put away your exploding gas balls. Well, you certainly can't just leave your exploding gas balls hanging out. And when you have them out while wearing wrinkly tights, nothing gets you kicked out of a movie theater faster. Gotta hand it to Bruce, he can take a huge splash of wine to the face and not get any on his tuxedo. It's like all great love stories, it begins in a cemetery, grieving over your parents while someone else grieves over their mom. Hell, as old as time. Who are you talking to? My mother. Who the f*** did he think she was talking to? Bruce Wayne does not know how to graveyard etiquette. Also, while it's not the flashback of the actual death of Batman's parents, thank God, movie still has to have a reminder that Bruce's parents were killed cliche. Well, Bruce, here goes. Holy sh this flashback, which started with Bruce remembering the time he fell in love with Andrea Beaumont at a cemetery, is still going! But I guess it's not often that you fall in love and fight crime for the first time all in one day. Who drinks coffee from a mug in a car? Hey, Jones! There. And try to keep your eyes open this time, damn it, Jonesy! That's not how hanging onto a truck while it crashes works. Should come as no surprise that the paragraphs on this newspaper have nothing to do with the headlines or the pictures. But maybe it should, since this is animated and someone chose to write these incongruent articles. It's been three days since we met and still no calls. Bruce makes a snide remark about this in a second, and he would be excellent at cinema since, but allow me to pile on. Jesus, lady. You guys didn't exchange phone numbers. You had no agreement to get in touch. Like, you must have made all your boyfriends track you down before going on a first date, and that's the only way you know how it's done. Nice footwork. Can you dance too? If I had a nickel for every time me jujitsuing a girlfriend to the ground ended up with us making out, well, I wouldn't have any nickels. Damn, Alfred. Bet you regret putting away Bruce's exploding gas balls now. Jesus, that flashback lasted so long I forgot all about masks and phantasms. I thought I was watching a cartoon reality show called Bruce and Andrea, Heavy Petting Cemetery. Time to pay for your sins, Mr. Bromsky. Holy sh**, this is exactly like CinemaSins team building sessions. This movie has been 100% realistic so far, getting the details of vigilante phantasms down to an absolute T. So that's why it's so disappointing that I can somehow see this guy's eyes and teeth in pitch darkness. I demand and expect more, guys. Well, gentlemen, any ideas? The animation budget was not enough for the team to draw an apple, so they had to settle for some breath spray and Hart Bachner's voice to show that this guy's an asshole. So the bat signal's kind of dumb, right? I mean, it's there in the sky for everyone to see and let all of Batman's villains know exactly where he's gonna be. Why is there never a rooftop ambush when that baby gets lit up? Oh, for fuck's sake. This movie is 20 minutes in and Bruce has looked at a painting of his parents, which led to a flashback of him looking at the tombstone. And now as Batman, he's checking the tombstone out again. If we were to construct a pie chart of Bruce Wayne and Batman's activities, 50% of his time is dedicated to mourning his parents, 36% to crime, and the other 14% spread out to miscellaneous activities. Sorry, Mom, but the whole world's going to seed. How is she there? Isn't this an active crime scene? Bruce? I mean, maybe. Or he could have just heard you conversing with your dead mother in the middle of the night, which is right by the Wayne grave site. But I guess this is better than him ripping his mask off in front of you while you're dressed like a cat. I gotta say, I don't understand anything about the traffic going on here. There doesn't appear to be any cars or traffic light in front of the leading car, but no one is moving. And what is this f***ery here? You've got a car on the left, a car on the right, and one in the middle that's like, room for one more. This is Arthur Reeves, one of the hot young Turks from my legal department. That's racist? Is my shirt too big or is that my flesh crawling? Your shirt is too big. It just doesn't hurt so bad anymore. I would have removed every sin plus all the sins from the room and the last airbender if Bruce wasn't goddamn talking to the Wayne Tombstone here. A random homeless guy would have been more awesome. 
Yes, we know. Rain, sadness, brooding, excitement. O'Neill Funding Corporation. Adams Tool and Die. Coffee stain, Ben Distro. You think you know everything about me, don't you? I die at your bottom. I bloody well ought to, sir. Well, you're wrong. Meanwhile, on my so-called Batman life. When Batman built this Batcave, why did he make it so that he has to drive on this dangerous curve to go out? Why couldn't he plan this so they did have a straight shot out of here? What if that curve is all the difference if he misses saving somebody? Andrea's father. Oh, these flashbacks are about to give me whiplash. An absurd amount of bats come out of this hole to overly symbolize how Bruce can't have a normal life and probably to spread SARS, but mostly the symbolism thing. Left with dad, too young, need time. Damn, Andrea really doesn't like to write complete sentences, does she? Bruce is upset, which means time to look at the painting of his parents again. My God. How long ago were these flashbacks? Alfred looks like he's in his early 40s here. And the movie showed Bruce and Andrea on a date looking at a World of Tomorrow exhibit, which is either a 1939 or 1964 New York World's Fair concept. And when we saw Bruce fighting crime for the first time, we saw this old 30s or 40s style cop car. And we even saw a car phone in Bruce's roles in one of these flashbacks, which really confuses things. For the most part, though, the space between the past and present seems to be a span of 20 to 50 years, where Bruce and Andrea haven't changed, but poor Alfred's aged 20 to 30 years. Are we sure with all the bad imagery they aren't vampires? You gotta love how this car's headlights maintain two perfect circles on the ground without illuminating anywhere else. I hate that song. When in doubt, throw a Joker in your Batman movie. They didn't call this Mask of the Phantasm for nothing. Also, why does the Joker sound so much like Chucky? And of course, Joker lives in the World of Tomorrow exhibit because this movie can't flash back to one thing that doesn't get featured later, regardless of how improbable it is. This isn't a joke. Batman's knocking us off and you're the only one who can take him down. But he really can't, right? I mean, he hasn't yet in their hundred or so encounters. Does Bane not exist in this world? Hmm. Bat stocking. Where's your father now? Having a clue. Why don't you try Madagascar? I mean, maybe in 12 years, but I don't think you'll be very satisfied with it. I can read lips. Then read them now. Get out. Pretty sure he doesn't have to read them. He can hear you. Does Exit to Eden not know what reading lips means? <gasps> How is the glass on the floor still intact, considering we just heard it shatter a few seconds ago? Clean and <laughs> Why wouldn't the explosion just happen immediately after Phantasm pulled off the blanket or walked in the house? What the f*** did he just land on? I mean, yes, it's a ledge, but it looks like he landed on the very edge of it, and the animation is such that it looks like he landed on the side of the building, then just jumped off. Batman survives this. Batman shoots the grappling hook at the helicopter and immediately springs towards it, but wah wah, it's just a barrier with Batman's cape on it. He fooled them. But tell me something, how the f*** did he pull off his cape and put it around that wooden barrier without anyone seeing it? He'd also need an extra set of hands to pull this sh off. And God help me if you say because he's Batman, because this mother should have escaped already if that's the case. How the hell did Andrea know Bruce would be chased to this exact alleyway? And God help me if you say because she's Batman, because... Jeez, even this guy's sweat is angry. Batman, flash of the Bactasm. This time tomorrow, on my mother's grave. Can we just stop talking about graves? 24 hours. 24 hours or blah 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 cliche. I'm sure they would have wanted you to be happy, sir. No, they wanted Bruce to constantly look at their paintings in gravesite, Alfred. Oh, no. Yes, this seems like valid proof. <laughs> this is Joker calling Batman, telling him he's gonna die. And once again, I have to wonder why I even bother giving him a warning. And if you cite the Lego Batman movie as your source for answering this, you need to give me 50 push-ups. Grocery bags contain at least one French baguette cliche. While Andrea's flashback ends right as this guy starts eating an apple, it is at least implied that he is an asshole. What do you say, hon? Feeling the old electricity tonight? Joker has definitely f***ed that robot. Very cute, but I can blow smoke too, toots. Some of that corrosive material had to hit her clothing, and she touches it with her other hand, which is only protected by a glove. Andrea has been kicking everyone's ass easily up until the Joker, and has to resort to a knee him in the nuts cliche. Movie is just not gonna explain this bullshit, is it? Probably for the best, but yeah, what a bunch of bullshit. You see, if you're going to suck someone into a fan, this is why you don't put the fan behind a bunch of death-escaping flagpoles. Andrea is definitely almost sucked into the fan here, but because of some sort of editing-slash-magic trick, she's nowhere near the fan when Batman jumps to save her. Your father's dead, isn't he? You came into town early to get Chucky Saul, so you could shift the blame to your father if you had to. How would this even hold up? Someone would eventually figure out Beaumont Sr. was dead if it wasn't already known in whatever place they resided. Or maybe she's got him rocking in a chair in the upstairs bedroom, Mrs. Bates style, which would have been a much better ending. 
I mean, damn, if this is a real vanishing act, then why didn't she do that when she was getting sucked into the fan? Nice, Warner Brothers. That's some good branding there. Take us in, you bastards. I feel like this movie was an early attempt at adapting the killing joke. It has basically the same setup, with Batman and Joker fighting in what might as well be the remains of a carnival. Here it's just the remains of a World's Fair. Silver Joker! No, Joker Surfer. Silver Jerker? There are 20 miles of tunnels under this place, and they're all filled with high explosives! Will you stop telling Batman everything? Good God, I love the Mark Hamill voice work. This character can't keep his goddamn mouth shut. Also, I think it's weird how this became a Joker story in the end. Yeah, it makes sense that he's in it, but he was basically dragged into it by one of the old mob guys. He didn't put the plot elements into motion at all, but yet, here we are. He's the movie's climactic final battle. This movie only somewhat had anything to do with the phantasm. Batman's going to somehow run up this rocket and catch Joker, and all I've got to say is the last season of Game of Thrones has been wicked disappointing. Andrea, you've got to get out of here. The place is wired to explode! There was so much pause in that delivery, I think Kevin Conroy might have gone deep inside for his inner Shatner. Also, why is there always a fucking place wired to explode? I'm not sure there's enough explosive material in existence to cover all these action and comic book movies. <laughs> Andrea! Wait, what? How did Andrea do that? She's not wearing any of her doodads, and she's not an actual sorceress. That is the cleanest and clearest sewer water I have ever seen. They must sh diamonds in Gotham. I couldn't save her, Alfred. What makes you so sure she died? She f***ing disappeared in smoke like she always did. As Queen used to say, it's a kind of magic. But you're Batman, so I don't know why you don't know this. Hey Bruce, just wanted you to know I'm alive, but we can't be together because something something darkness, something something damaged. But, more importantly, I stored Joker in a secure place that you can only find if you solve a series of clues, each of them with increasing difficulty as you move through the game. Aquaman! Glad you could make it. I brought some shrimp. You are done! No more table! They used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Batman! Ghosts and ghouls and spooky fools will terrify your dreams. You can't escape the scary fate of a Maryville Halloween. You thought I'd never find your precious blunt cave, did you, Hemp Knight? The crystal was meant for you, Randor. Now I'll have to find another way to claim the throne of Eternia. But at least man-at-arms won't be a problem anymore! But on the plus side, I knocked over the sun sphere! <laughs> what a dumbass! Nice footwork. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I dive at your bottom. Not fair! The only one in this room controlled by his parents is you. Stick burn! Take him in the north! Wolfman's got nard!